OK, so we move on then to the final presentation. And uh, it's a community update from Mihaela Stan uh, and, and Catherine Beck. Over to you. Hello, Mihaela. Hello, hi, good evening, everyone. Uh, I am Mihaela Stan. I am the Community Development Officer for North of Phase One. And um, I will start my update with the occupation counts. Um, this is as of 25th of February. Um, for phase one, we had 1,004 dwellings, uh, phase two, four. And uh, this would bring the total for Northstone new build to 1,006. And uh, Northstone overall total, including rent and drift, um, would be 1,105. Um, another thing I would like to mention, um, it's the very exciting Norsto Day. Catherine and I um, are supporting the community groups to prepare the celebration of Norsto Day. On the 11th of May, we will be celebrating five years since the first resident moved into Norsto. And um, in, in, in anticipation of that, um, the community are preparing a series of fun and interactive events on Saturday, the 7th of May. Um, there will be stalls on the green, a fashion exhibition at the secondary college, sports events on the Western Park, um, food vans and uh, much more. Please get in touch uh, with Catherine and I if you have an idea of a project or if you'd like to support the community groups in preparing for the event. Um, another exciting project which I would like to mention is um, the community food pantry, which uh, Sustainable North to have worked very hard to deliver. To deliver. Um, you might have noticed a shelf um, with food at the community wing, uh, which volunteers are constantly replenishing, and uh, there are also plans for a fridge to be introduced to. Um, I've got an update from Smart Journeys as well. Um, they are, uh, you might have seen on, uh, shared on Facebook, uh, on a few Facebook pages today, um, and there will be a link in the chat as well regarding uh, Norsto Travel and Transport Survey. Um, this is live and uh, will be closing at midnight on Sunday, 27th of March. Uh, this is an opportunity to have your say on how you commute for work or for leisure. Um, Smart Journeys would be very grateful if you could take a few minutes of your time to complete the survey online. And there is also a chance to win 50 pound high street voucher. And um, another update also from Smart Journeys um, is regarding their uh, Norsto Travel Plan Steering um, Meeting, which um, this is an event that brings residents together to improve sustainable um, travel choices and uh, will be taking place on Tuesday, 26th of April from 7 till 8 um, at Norsto. There will be more, more details um, will follow very soon. And um, the last update for me would be regarding a question we've received in relation to, um, to North Stop Phase 1 community orchard. Um, so the question was, what is the current status of um, the North Stop Phase 1 community orchard? And um, um, in relation to this, uh, North Stop Horticultural Association are looking into sourcing trees um, for the allotment. Um, unfortunately, they were unsuccessful with their application for the Thatcher's uh, tree giveaway. Um, so are, are now um, looking at alternative options. The Apple and Orchard project will be um, taking orders from June. So the North Star Horticultural Association will be contacting them um, regarding the bare um, root trees they can supply. And that's all from me. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mihaela. Uh, so is is Catherine uh, yes. contributing or is yes yep yeah. yeah, sorry yes um i'm i'm here hello good evening everybody so um just touching on a few other um fantastic community um stuff that's going on just to update you um a fantastic um legacy competition is about to be launched um about naming the free lakes so this is a fantastic opportunity for the community to um engage interact um, in having their say in naming the lakes there will be free themes they are all to be confirmed and this is an idea that's actually come from the community um, and so on as well um, the details of that will be in the North Stone news in the next edition and that will be running um, at, um, after Easter I understand as well the schools will also be um, involved with that as well um, from the end of this week. So this is sort of the first official soft launch of that. So please do um, 
keep your eyes open on social media and the North Stone News um, in relation to that. And if you're on social media or, or have any queries, please, that's our email address, please do contact us. Um, we're also really keen to um, really follow in the article in the North Stone News, the most recent one, just sort of reiterate and put a shout out really to the community about volunteers. Everyone knows, if, and if you don't, I'm gonna tell you now, um, the wonderful benefits of volunteering. It's fantastic for your well-being. You get to meet lots of like-minded people in your own community, make new friends, and it's just generally good for your soul. We've got so many fantastic community groups that will be um, displaying and showcasing what they do and so on at the North Stowe Day event on the 7th of May. But we really would like you, whilst we've brought your attention, just to have a think about whether there's um, even an hour, few hours you can dedicate to groups to help them support the, the community in turn. There's some fantastic opportunities that we're looking for volunteers to help run the Pioneer CAF. There's a new youth um, activity um, happening as well. Um, we, the um, community groups and societies are um, hoping to have some help with, um, with people, digital skills, websites, general admin, the community larder, the community pantry, they're also looking for volunteers. So if you would like any more um, information in relation to that, please do drop us an email or pop, in, pop into the community wing. We're there um, on a Wednesday, um, so please do get in touch. Last point I will mention in brief is um, there's a social prescriber um, and called Pekka, lovely chap, who works with um, both the GP practices and his role is really to support people, um, engage, interact um, and um, GPs um, can signpost to a social prescriber to really, really help out. Um, we understand from the social prescriber, um, he's got one person on his books for North Stowe. He will actually be at the North Stowe Day event explaining if you wanted to have a chat, you can self-prescribe um, yourself to him, go through the GP um, or just contact us and we can put you in touch with him. So that was really just um, our points for the community update. So thank you, Chair. I will end my, my video. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Nahela. Um, I think uh, there, there's one question. What time is the North Stowe Day running from? I um, don't know if that's being answered directly. I uh, don't know if anybody can just... Uh... I'm happy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, there, will be, there will be various activities throughout the day. We are still discussing with, um, uh, with all the um, community groups um, when each event will be taking place. Um, so um, once we have the uh, program, then we will make it public and um, we will let everybody know. Okay, thank you. Does anyone else uh, have um, questions for Mahela or uh, Catherine? Okay, now 